Only I'd have had help like this all day. Could have used a gopher. Houston, you know what a gopher is? Nope. A gopher? What do you mean, like an actual animal? Nope. A gopher is the person you have that you say, hey, go get me this, go get me that. They just go for everything for you, so. <laughs> fellas, fellas, or ladies, and actually, that's the hint, no? Well, I'm so confused. I'm so confused because the hen's growing a beard. Larry, does your wife have a beard? Is that why you're angry? Is your wife starting to grow a beard? Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And uh, as you can see, I'm back out at the uh, shed to blind conversion at the Mill Creek property. Uh, I'm going to be working on installing the windows in our little ground blind shed today. Uh, we got a little bit of rain last night. Some storms blew through. Not a lot, but enough. It's, it's really nice outside, but the humidity is high. And I'm gonna try to do as much of this work while we're in the shade as we can because <laughs> Our little, uh, our little shed shell has a uh, sheet metal roof, and when the sun hits that, it gets unbelievably hot in there really quick. Like, you can't stand it. So, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the windows today. I did order a uh, DIY spray foam kit to put some insulation up under that sheet metal and to seal that off like it's never actually been sealed up you can see daylight through but uh, i don't know that we're going to insulate all of the walls at least not yet we're uh we're in a time crunch with deer season really approaching quickly and uh, this is something that probably should have been done months ago but when it's 105 degrees this is not even on my radar so we're going to work on it today hopefully get all four windows installed it shouldn't be a difficult job i'm this thing is not put together the best. It could be worse, but it's not the best. And I'll show you what I mean. It's kind of dark in here, but uh, basically what we're gonna have to do is move some studs and I'm not gonna necessarily worry about doing a full header with jacks that come up like a window you would in a house. This is, guys, this is just a shed. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what I was talking about is like, you know, this, this stud was just a little bit short. So, hey, just shim it and throw some nails in there. It'll be all right. I mean, it was a shed. It did its purpose for the previous owner that I'm assuming he just built it on site. It wasn't something that was brought in. And uh, anyways, first thing I did was get all the shelves out so we have a clean slate to work with. I'm gonna be t t putting two windows on that wall and one on either side. One question I had from a lot of people when I showed these windows the other day, so they will install from the outside, like I said, and uh, a lot of people said that the window should fold down instead of up. So do this, this, and then the window just folds down like this when you're in there hunting instead of folding up. Let me zoom out. Instead of folding up. But the way these windows are built and designed, they're not meant to do that. And what I mean is... The bottoms have drain holes for when it rains so that window sets in like this and when it rains the the water can drain out now you could probably drill some holes and make some but they're just not designed to be used that way and opening up with that window flipping up inside they've got a magnet and uh they'll work just fine and one other thing before i get too deep into this project on my way over this morning i stopped at the merchandise facility uh, we've had the guys there doing spray foam insulation for a couple days. They did get everything spray foamed, two inches on all the walls and the ceiling, hard cell insulation, 
and four inches extra of soft open cell insulation on the ceiling and i'm telling you it made a world of difference in there but uh, they're painting i stopped by and they're painting everything uh from eight feet up and the ceiling all black today so uh i stopped by and kind of made sure they were getting started and doing everything see if they needed any help with anything and uh they were just just getting started painting so uh we'll swing back by there later this evening and check it all out when they're done and uh write the check to pay for it because this is a that's an expensive job spray foam insulation is not cheap but it should make that building much better All right, I'm not gonna lie. It took a little longer than I expected. I had to do a little, uh, little experiment and a little changing around. This two by four couldn't be turned flat like it needed to be because the way, so these windows are very simple, but they do need a little room to operate. So it swings up and there's a magnet attached up here. Well, a plate, the window itself has magnets on it and you just stick it up there and it is dead, silent, quiet no problem but in order to, for that to fold all the way up that top two by four had to be standing up but it does work just the way it's supposed to and seals up well put a bead of silicone all the way around the outside those screws that i use probably aren't the right proper screws to use but use what you got sometimes because it's not doesn't have to be pretty I think you can wear close. Got some trimming to do. Well, three out of four windows are complete. I've been working on this project for, I don't know, three or four hours. 
it's coming along it's not perfect the outside of this thing is a little bit rough all of my silicone it's clear silicone but it'll, it's white right now it'll dry clear but uh, i'd rather go overboard on the silicone and seal those up and i've also got a, a drip edge that's going to go across the top but i don't have time to finish the fourth one right now i've got to run in town run into town and pick up houston from school he gets out of school in about 20 minutes and uh run a few errands for dj and probably bring houston back out here and fix that finish that one last window let houston help me so he can have a part in it and uh yeah see the trim i knocked off the bottom down there a little bit rotted but yeah it's okay it's gonna be a it's gonna be a really good deer blind for many years to come i feel like it's uh not perfect and i don't know that i'm gonna i haven't decided should i insulate the walls should i not insulate the walls i really don't want to put a bunch of more money into this little shed and quite honestly we don't hunt that much when it's that severely cold it just doesn't happen here usually until january february so november's fairly warm in oklahoma usually sometimes it gets cold uh december can be pretty cold but uh i think as long as i insulate the ceiling to protect us from that sun oven effect i think we'll be all right in here so it's not perfect and uh had to do some you know uh not up to standard code type framing stuff i'm not going to put you know jacks and headers and all that stuff in for this but uh it'll work it's not exactly perfectly dimensional but it's pretty close so all right well i'm gonna load up and go get houston and get a snack i completely skipped lunch it's uh you know 250 and uh hadn't had lunch so we'll get some food come back get after it and finish up Welcome to the party. Welcome. How was school? Good. How was work? Sweaty. <laughs> Alright, broski. I did three windows. You can do the last one. I don't know about that. It's pretty easy. I think you can figure it out. You think that'll work? Yeah. I don't have a chair for you to sit in. You can sit on the trash can and see what it looks like, but. <laughs> I think it'll look good, but we'll just have to see if, like, we can, if the scope will still be fine, like, so it's not too tall. It'll be fine. Hey, it needs to be on the on the bottom and not the well i know it doesn't look like a top but technically that would be the top we got to seal water from getting in okay okay you need to do it again right here uh it wouldn't hurt to put just a little bit more on there yeah doing a fine job sir doing a fine job if only I'd have had help like this all day. Could have used a gopher. Houston, you know what a gopher is? Nope. A gopher? What do you mean, like an actual animal? Nope. A gopher. Uh-oh. Put the bottom in. Hang on. You want to mess up our bead of caulk? Just hold it right there. Don't go anywhere. A gopher is the person you have that you say, hey, go get me this. Go get me that. They just go for everything for you. So you hold that. I'll go get the drill and some screws, okay? Okay. Test her out, see if it'll open. 
You got to undo the clasp on the bottom. The little things twist that lock it. I don't have a magnet up there yet. Pull it open all the way. Like oh, it's subscribe. <laughs> well, our silicone looks kind of goofy around there right now, but it'll dry. I'm not worried about it being a perfect, pretty bead of silicone, but close the window. And I'm just curious if a deer's out here with a little bit of a gray color on those windows. Now, mind you, the back doors are still open. Here's some, look out these front windows. Don't worry about locking it. I just wanted you to stand in there to see if I could see you. If I was a deer out here, I said, look out. Just look out the front windows. Scoot up. Oh, I see you now. Back up just a little bit. Yeah, see, that's perfect. I mean, that's with the back doors open, so there's even more light in there coming through than what there will be when the doors are closed. But my main concern is you know being able to if a deer or an animal's beside you looking straight through but uh we'll probably keep a curtain over the side windows just uh to kind of block some of the view what do you think i think it's cool we'll paint the inside black i think it'll be pretty nice yeah me too Well, there you have it. Our uh, shed to blind conversion now has four windows and uh, I think they're gonna be the perfect height. Houston and I have been talking. He uh, he agrees with me, his idea. And I've, got, I've used this several times in the past is to get some old office chairs. A lot of people throw away old office chairs that aren't in great shape and they make perfect ground blind chairs because you can sit for hours comfortably. Yeah. And uh, they adjust up and down. So. We'll save painting for another day. I'll probably wait until after I spray foam that ceiling, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be just perfect. I don't have a chair, but I got an upside down trash can. So we'll probably bring in some old carpet or some maybe some rubber stall mats to put on the floor so you don't have sound as much. But when we're sitting in here, there's more than enough room for two people to sit shoulder to shoulder and. Uh, can see basically three sides around us plenty of plenty of visibility and with those gray colored windows nothing can see in nope and there's plenty of room heck if you want to when it's cold you can stretch out on the floor and lay in here and take a nap yeah. that's what your brother always used to do when he hunted really oh yeah All the insulation's done. It's all painted. It's actually usable now. Well, well, it could be. There's no electricity yet. But it can still be used. So next, next we've got electricity going in. Then we got to start framing all the walls. And now we can move to the inside of the building, basically. Yeah. Well, let's see. It's probably going to be dark in there. Oh, maybe we've got to unlock it first. Got to unlock it. Good thing you found the key. Yeah. I think you locked it. Now you locked it. Now you unlocked it. Now you locked it. 
This is complicated stuff, man. I, I can't get it. Can't. Don't break the key. Heard something. I can't get it. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely dark in there. Well, it's gonna smell like paint in there. They have to open up some doors to see anything. It's uh, it's dark. Here, I think I'll uh, let me open up one of these roll-up doors, and you'll be able to see a little better in here. All right, got the doors open. Now we can see in here a little bit. It's gonna take a lot of lights to uh, light this thing up, but the walls will be white eventually. So you can see from that black line down will be white sheet metal and it'll be what's called a reverse panel. So where these ridges stand up out the pan, it'd be like setting that panel on the wall flip-flopped. So with that reverse panel, it'll be more of a flat wall, but uh, man, it looks good. It's uh, totally different in here. As far as acoustics go, it was echoey in here real bad before, you know what? Yeah. It's nice and quiet now, so I think it'll be I think it'll be good. They uh they said when they were when they were painting it started raining a little bit and you could just barely even hear the rain hitting the roof. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty good with a metal roof, it's usually loud. I think this is gonna be really cool for how we're gonna do it. And I just can't wait to see how it turns out. Me too. Me too. It's going to look good. I came home and kind of expected to have to do all the chores, but it looks like everybody's already been fed. Charlie, have you already had dinner too? Hmm? Rooster says it's bedtime or time to get up. I, I'm, I'm confused, buddy. Yeah, everyone's been fed. Jerry, did you have a good day, buddy? It's nice out here, isn't it? Pepper's over there playing in the mud hole. Yep. Mom's already fed and watered. Everybody's doing good. Look at that. The geese aren't even mad today. Well, the goose. Goose is always mad. But the three angry geese aren't even mad today. What's up with that? Hey, Pepper. <laughs> She's like, stay away from me. <laughs> well, all right then. Hey, Charlie. Did you have a good day, buddy? Charlie's not very talkative, Reba. Reba's doing all right. We've had her uh, locked up, separated from her mama for a few days now, and Reba's doing all right. You good, Reba? Come here. Come on. Come here. You can do it. Come smell my fingers. I'm not that mean. I'm a pretty nice guy. Unless you ask some of my subscribers and they think I'm mean. Hi, Reba. You let me touch you? Hmm? You let me touch you? No? Okay. A little at a time. We'll keep working. Hey, you geese. That was clean water for Pepper. Why are you setting in the bucket? Can you not find somewhere better to get a drink or take a bath? Huh? How's father time today? Hmm? You got any old, like, Vietnam, maybe World War II war stories you can tell the crowd? Because you old, buddy. I mean, you make old goats not look old. You know that, Isaac? I'd sure like to hear some of those old war stories of yours. I'm sure you got some, buddy. 
Keep your seat, all right? Enjoy your evening. <laughs> fellas, fellas, or ladies, and actually, that's the hint, no? Well, I'm so confused. I'm so confused because the hen's growing a beard. Larry, I think I figured out why you're so angry, buddy. So the other day, I told you guys that uh, our one remaining, you know, baby turkey that's grown now, that was a baby from Larry and Linda when we first got them. I thought it was a hen, but we discovered that it was a small Jake because he fanned out and started gobbling. Well, that little fight you just saw, I'm pretty sure was Linda and not the unnamed little Jake. Maybe we should just call him Jake, I don't know. But I noticed something about Linda while she was bowed up fighting that rooster. Linda, do you have a beard? So on turkeys, this rope hanging off the front of Larry's chest is called a beard. It's just kind of a, uh, you know, it's a manly man thing. And when Linda was fighting with that rooster, I could have swore I saw a little beard starting to grow, but maybe, maybe it was him, but I could have swore it was her. Linda, turn your, turn and face me. Look at me. Larry, does your wife have a beard? Is that why you're angry? Is your wife starting to grow a beard? I know I saw it. There's a little, there's a little black dot on her chest. Oh, you gonna give me knuckles? Yeah. You can't see it when she's not all fluffed up and fighting mad. But if you look at that guy, he's starting to get a, what do they call it, a snood? The, the dangling participle off of Larry's face right here. I think it's called a snood. But. Look, his face is all red right now. Usually he doesn't have that color, but I don't see a beard on him at all yet. Oh, wait, there's a black spot on his chest. Nope, that was on his leg. Never mind. No beard yet. So maybe Larry's upset because his wife is growing a beard. I wouldn't be happy if my wife grew a beard either. It'd be weird. I understand. But you don't have to be angry at everyone. Okay? Hey, Izzy. What are you girls doing? Did y'all have a good day? Hmm? Did the kitties have a good day? I bet you did. Probably didn't do a dang thing, did you? At least y'all aren't fighting anymore. It's good to see you getting along. At least tolerating each other, huh? Well, I'm gonna call that a full day. It's uh, 7 p.m. I'm gonna go in and shower and eat supper. I think my wife's already cooking supper. Hopefully, it's kind of late. Uh, long, full day. <sighs> but got some stuff accomplished. Got windows put in the ground blind. We got the uh, merch building all spray foamed and painted. It's going to be dark in there. We're going to put a lot of lights in that warehouse to light it up. But uh, it's going to look good. I I'm excited. I uh, really wasn't sure about this building. Black exterior and black doors and black spray foam. And But I know it's going to look good in the end. And uh, the outside looks amazing right now i took a picture a while ago at sunset the sun was going down and the building just looks really cool from the outside and uh i don't know i can't wait to get the inside going and uh finished really but at least get it going and see it take shape and hopefully we'll be over there fulfilling your orders of all the merchandise for the christmas launch i think we can i mean we as long as we have electricity we can use the shop side the uh apartment side and offices and stuff does not have to be completed before we can, you know, do the Christmas launch over there. So if we can get electricity, heat and air, we can use the shop. But uh, it's all taking shape. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.